Okay guys, I think this is probably the last video in this uh, mousetrap car series. This video I'm going to show you how to extend the lever of the mousetrap. We're going to use the existing lever and we're going to make it three times longer which is going to help slow down the wheels so that your car can move forward farther. Now this isn't the only option. There's other ways that you can do this. You can also take this lever out and put a longer lever in by using like a, a metal coat hanger or something like that. But we're just going to use the existing mousetrap. So watch closely as I do this and you guys are on YouTube so you know you can slow down the steps to see exactly what I've done. So here I am with a, an empty mousetrap attached to my mousetrap car. The first thing I'm going to do is deactivate the mousetrap. So I'm going to take the spring lever off of the gold lever, the, the mousetrap lever, just by using my fingernail and popping this off. Now that's not active anymore. So all I did was take this lever, spring lever, off of the bigger lever. Now I'm going to need a pair of pliers to take apart some of the, some of the mousetrap. So I'm going to take the gold part that's right here. This has to be opened up so that it can slide off. So I'm going to take my, my pliers and pry that open so that this can disconnect from my mousetrap. Now I'm going to flip this or pry this over so that my mousetrap doesn't fall apart. Because right now my lever can come all the way out. I don't want it to fall apart. So I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to turn this so that it doesn't fall apart. Now I'm going to use my fingers to extend the lever, straighten the lever with your fingers. And now I have a, a lever that is one, two, three times longer than it originally was. I'm going to use my pliers and I'm going to close the end so that I have a closed loop that I can work with. And that's where my new string is going to get tied to, right here. That's where my new string is going to go. So I'm going to use the white string again to demonstrate how this works. Really it's the same way. Our string has to be long enough to reach from the end of my lever to my nail. So I'm going to take my string, try to fish it through this tiny little hole that I made, but hopefully it's going to hold really well. And if you guys have to, you may have to make the hole bigger with your pliers to get the string through and then close it up so that your string doesn't fall out. That's what I'm going to do for mine. I'm going to double knot this so I go around and through twice. Remember we don't want the uh, string to fall off so we got to make sure it's nice and tight. We also have to reactivate our mousetrap by pulling our spring lever back on top of the lever itself and then I'm going to make my string longer, tie my hoop knot just like I did on my first step, make a hoop, pass it around and through, cut the extra off. Now I have a string that should be long enough to go from the end of the lever to the nail. So I can load this by the same way as before. I'm going to pull the lever back, I'm going to put the string over the nail and turn the wheels backwards. I'm ready to put it on the ground and let it go. So I have the same chain of reactions, the same uh, energy transfers as before. When I let go of the lever, I get energy to go from the spring to the lever to the string to the nail to the axle to the CD adapters to the CD to the ground. It's just by making a longer lever, I slow down the action and actually make the string longer. So here, let's see what happens when I let go. If you can imagine that that was on the ground, we would get a, 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 a movement out of the mousetrap car that would hopefully be pretty far. There's some other factors that go into this that you guys can think about making your cars go further, such as traction between the ground and the outside of the wheels. There's many ways for you to increase traction. Uh, think about driving on the ice versus driving on a dry road. 
if these wheels are just spinning and your car is not moving forward, you're having some traction issues. We could also make this lever longer by using a different piece of metal that you guys could bring in, like a coat hanger. Uh, there's other things that you guys can do. You gotta research, you gotta think, and try to put something together that works for you and your car. Any questions, make sure you guys ask.